and uh, today a uh, couple of things failed this failed which is a recorder voice recorder and GoPro camera failed it's out of battery and my mobile phone which is now doing the live stream live stream is also out of battery and I am recording with another camera right there with another microphone just to just to record this just to make sure that something is being recorded already seven viewers instantly no oh, that's magical um, okay so it's all about I will just sit hi I will just sit down here and be comfortable with this hi and uh, about earth history and uh, I, I try to be brief because mobile phone is only 60% and doing these live streams it uh, takes a lot of power. So yesterday we started a channel about Earth's history which basically is a continue up to the um, Mars channeling. And uh, it, 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 just to start talking about this amazing information, for me amazing, I don't know. I channeled for maybe two hours or so and I was so dizzy before we started the channel because I, I really know that to do tomorrow we will be channeling next to those friends, uh, with those friends which, which I have. And um, what happened was I was so dizzy and then we started the channel and we started the channel about at the beginning we were starting to question about the Mars but uh, we got to a point where we started to ch chat about uh, uh, we started to chat about um, the Earth's history and then the Enrico started to sharing lots and lots and lots and lots of information about the Earth's history. Now, the channeling overall it was a two hours long video in Latvian language, it's in the camera. I think we can do a live stream about just translating that channeling, just interpreting it. So I think it will be a, a four hour marathon of translating that information. And now if you agree to that, we can do, you can just write it down on comments. I will check it later. Um, so uh, I will just go through the, for in my case, the most interesting information, which I remember. I will, I will try to go through it as far as I remember. But the most interesting thing was, it was non-stop talking. It was just non-stop, non-stop, non-stop talking. And after that, uh, channeling completely no thoughts for me, which is which is strange because normally if you talk a lot, there are so many, many, many thoughts afterwards. But after this channeling, I just went into a complete no thought state, and that was like this something not usable. And uh, but the thing is, I I knew that I know that it helps to. Uh, because when the channeling starts, I need to jump off my personality, my own thoughts, for the information to come through. So, in a way, other the beings or or myself just switch off to no thought state, and uh, and that that that, that thing was uh, for me was interesting. So anyway, about the information. So continue up was uh, about the about the. A complete Earth history, uh, in simple words, in simple way. A complete Earth history in simple way. And still today, I'm like no thought state. I'm like, okay, was it valuable? Was it not? I'm not sure. But I think I think I need to talk about this just to share it, and then uh, just forget it. I just forget about it. So Earth at the beginning was a really small planet and had the being said a baby planet and uh, this is the first cycle of the Earth and it was only water planet and it was a small they said five times smaller than the planet Earth and uh, that uh, and uh, this planet uh, uh, needed to went through uh, certain cycles of its own evolution they said that the planet is a conscious baby as they said at the beginning was a like a conscious baby you, you would say it. and many many beings were watching them and this is something like a greek gods or roman gods or something that, they look the same but basically uh, mm, advanced spiritually highly advanced human-like beings were watching this planet and watching it closely and they say in comparison like uh, babies as they are watching uh, uh, no like 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 a mother is watching her baby and they start to see oh and the first teeth come out oh the first hair start to come out they were watching this planet and uh, there was a period of time when uh, there was only water and 
they said that at first uh, inner inner core inner inner earth core uh, started to grow out rocks like crystallize out rocks uh, building up the earth core and it started to build up build up build up build up and it started to turn into like lava type of uh, magna type or something uh, and in other words uh, earth started to grow but still everything was underwater earth started to grow and it started to create volcanoes uh, that started to arise above the surface of those waters and this they said that also earth's atmosphere uh, wasn't uh, I, I don't know what's it, ozone layer or something i don't know but anyway the sun lights uh, could easily smash through uh, the Earth's atmosphere and because of that what happened is that the water was completely different than the water we have right now and the solar rays on the solar particles that came from the Sun uh, starting to started to uh, crystallize um, you know, when I saw the water I saw these particles coming through and the water started to like a bubble a little bit bubble and crystal shards of crystals started coming out small piece small piece by piece crystals and also as i remember they said atmosphere was starting to create also from this but diamonds and crystals started to appear from from this and and drown down in the water uh, but they say also they started to boil and not like boil but like to a little bit boil out and creates the atmosphere and also they said that the volcanoes created the atmosphere the volcano dusts uh, from the volcanoes got, went up in the atmosphere and then lowered down back on the uh, surface of the water and it was like a inhabitable place by then and uh, uh, what else was they said that uh, there was a huge volcano eruption or, or something that the overall uh, surface of the planet earth was covered uh, with with dark 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 clouds and in a sense what happened was it turned into ice planet it turned it into uh, icy ice planet so in other words the the sun was blocked and the water overall turned into ice and uh, or, or was it a little bit later but anyway the uh, the I, I have it all recorded down in latvian so it will not disappear any any place we can do uh, just a sharing of this but anyway what happened next was uh when it turned into ice afterwards the ground surface later on started to appear above above the the water later later but it was soft ground really really soft ground that uh, if you put your feet down to it it will start to like squeeze like in deep 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 mud inside so thank you for the two likes already much appreciated so it started to uh, sink your, your feet will just start to sinking the soft ground and when the first surface appeared as they said earth is conscious it's a conscious being uh, like like a like a girl you would say like a mother and uh, it's uh it, it's the it started to grow out like they said extrem extremitates uh um, it's something like to me understood that earth started to grow its own consciousness plants outside they were uh, uh, they were like maybe water type of plants really high thing like like straws in, that inside there's only water of these straws and it's uh, transparent they are also transparent but it's like you never seen them anywhere before they're just like imagine just like a without any roots a plant that it's like a straw you can see it through and it's like incredibly silly to other words and mainly they grow inside the water they don't grow inside the uh, they don't grow inside the 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 the, the, the the ground the soft ground that was grown and these are like uh, extensions to the planet's consciousness and they said that this is something different because they were uh, planets extended consciousness like earth's planet extended consciousness it's like a, a part of the earth that was growing out they said to comparison that the plants we have right here now are individual consciousness you would say individual self-aware consciousness you would say these all these plants that are here but those were the planets earth uh extremities like uh, like extensions i don't know it's and basically uh, when you look at that plant you know that's the the earth it's not a separate flower or something that's the, that's the earth consciousness and uh, 
And what happened then, um, uh, there, there was lots of information, I don't recall it, a, a, a lot of it, I will just go into breathers. So what happened afterwards, uh, these uh, plants started to grow and grow and grow and start to stabilize the uh, overall Earth's, uh, Earth's uh, atmosphere. Because they said that the Earth's atmosphere was crazy. It was crazy. It was windy, huge waves. Uh, it was like crazy all the time. Because also what I understood from that, what they said from the channeling was that uh, Earth was doesn't didn't have an orbit earth was rotating incredibly to many directions it was more like a, like an infinite loop to all the directions now we have like earth axis is a little bit fixed you would say like this it earth rotates something like this in the in the solar orbit but it was rotating like crazy they they didn't have these axes uh, over which it rotates so and what happened uh, what happened then does it created so many uh, evolution cycles that the earth went through from uh, from nowadays it's like a complete uh, water a complete waterish world planet then it was a complete volcano eruption planet which created these dusts uh, that lower down then after the ice age it turned into uh, it turned into soft surface uh, earth because the earth was growing growing and expanding and from one point the ground started to appear over the earth and then it started to grow out uh, like the uh, earth's consciousness uh, 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 extensions to the Earth's consciousness extensions as plants which was the same earth uh, itself growing these and then uh, at the next period what happened uh, I'm not quite sure what was the next period would happen but when the time the these huge plants started to appear like maybe kilometer wide but there was only a small part uh, which was uh, uh, above water and it was many times it was washed away due to the uh, polar shifts but there were no polarity to them there was like consciously <laughs> rotating in ecstasy and uh, in a while because of these huge plants that were growing there uh, this overall earth's climate uh, stabilized out stabilized out in a way stabilized out comparison comparison to the situation that was prior to that and then these godlike beings uh, started to in not like inhabit but started to take more seriously a look to this planet because it went to the first cycles and it become like a, a little bit like a stable planet and then they started to um, I'm really sorry if I mess up a little bit there periodically because I know there's in the camera much more information but still it's an overall complete history uh, overall basic or a simple history of the earth and then these godlike beings these godlike humans started to uh, plant in as they said controlled biological individual things plant life which uh, as at, at that plant life which was before that time was earth extensions and there were uncontrolled uh, plant life they, they could grow like a kilometer high and kilometer wide it's like unlimited and huge and like a jungle type of a plant i saw a huge big leaf just a huge big leaf maybe size of a skyscraper that was there and they grow like this and it helped to reduce winds it helped to uh, reduce the climate and it created also shadows on the ground to uh, to to stabilize the overall surface of the earth and so these godlike beings came here and this not but they didn't inhabit this plant they started to came here to create the uh, environment as controlled biological um, plant life you would say a controlled biological plant life is a plant life that is individual it follows a certain pattern in its growth like it's like a controlled it's like it grows fruit its size is controlled it uh, it's uh, how was it I, I don't its size is controlled but basically what i understood from that channeling that information was that uh, these incredible plants they can grow whatever they wish but these control life plant lives are a controlled uh, smart controlled engineering a system that grows a tree in a certain size and that tree follows a certain program which is necessary and they said they started to build up these controlled plant lives uh, for the first steps which was to create a stable so soil for the earth and the beings just stopped and said all black soil 
uh, dark soil which we have here uh, in Latvia, for, for, example, for example, the black soil, is an artificially created soil for these advanced um, controlled individual plant lives. As trees and flowers and so on, they're individual. And uh, it was a program created that these plant lives inhabit and expand throughout all the all the planet and create a soil. What I understood from soil was that they need the next plant lives need to have a soil which is not which is uh, rich with air. It's like irrigated soil and which isn't pure water as such, which isn't uh, just a clean water. It needs to be dry soil or wet controlled soil. Therefore you need um, like a adjusted soil and these first created controlled plant lives controlled like a, like a, like with, with a controlling mechanism built in uh, the purpose was them to spread all over the planet and to create a, a stable soil for the next plant lives that should be arised and delivered here and they started to create uh, like uh, these first plant lives as trees that they die and they spread and they go out through the planet and they create uh, they create this this soil this overall soil uh, which was uh, all over the uh, which was covering all over the planet and uh, still earth was without orbit and earth was without uh, at that point earth was uh, without these polarities and earth was only green and water planet which which huge area of the planet was covered only by water and then at the next point what happened uh, there was a time when the first beings uh, like they said in a joking way like adam and eve from the books that you read they came as first genetical chassis on this planet and they were uh, genetically engineered to live on this planet and that was amazing and amazing experience when the first human stepped on this planet but soon and really quickly they went away because they realized that the climate is not suitable for inhabiting it's completely not suitable for inhabiting because it was so uh changing changing it was like a dangerous climate it was like a you know a huge waves winds uh, everything like completely changing and what they did they decided these godlike beings decided that we need to make a climate which is adjustable and it's more stable uh, for these first inhabitants that could be living here and they created a smart intelligent climate environment what they created and still earth was without polar polarity then they created huge mountains uh, what i saw was like it's like a one continent one not very big continent maybe the size of europe like such a continent they created a huge mountain and they created plant lives and what did they create was artificial clouds and not like artificially but artificially they created the environment that produces clouds and what they said they produced because of these clouds they produced also these uh, uh, this climate was created to have clouds and to have lightning on it and to have rain and this was artificially created understanding the energy of statical energy uh, from the sun rays and statical energy from the clouds that uh, have this uh, the statical energy and this was due to several purposes first of all was that the rain uh, rains down and covers most of the area on the surface because there were not so many rivers then they created rivers but they still needed these uh, uh, these uh, how you call it the when the rain covers the areas with water like you know artificial uh, this uh, wet wetting system so the trees that grow in the lands still have this water and this was artificially created and also what they created was this statical energy that it gives bursts to the cycle of the plants to start kicking out leaves to give these uh, these plant lives a kick out because when a thunder happens i understand that uh, a, a certain level of energy is being pressed down and high amounts of energy from the inner earth is being like sucked up through the plant lives and they start to grow much quicker it's like a first start they start growing it's like kick start to start growing in the in the in, in spring and that's they created this artificial uh, cl climate which is basically supporting the overall plant life and the environment and the climate in in this earth 
territory create and the purpose for them was to create a uh, environment that is capable of long lasting long lasting uh, long lasting climate and after it was created now the first and then the first uh, being started to came come to earth to live this first human genetical it's not human it's something different but it's pure human you would say we are hybrids but they were pure human being started to live here and uh, i try to remember as what what was the scenario but we will go also to the times uh, which uh, in our days so it will be a uh, quite a long video for you to watch and I, I think an hour at least uh to listen exactly not watch to listen uh so uh now these uh, first genetical humans started to live they started to inhabit um th there was a mixture of information which i could not recall right now because uh, when i woke up from the channeling it was like hey, what happened and it's like three or two hours passed and like oh really uh, and I was like after that no thought state and I'm just trying to recall that information um, so uh, I remember also they said something about uh, the first birds first beings that live here were birds and then were migrating animals animals and their purpose was to carry out the seeds carry out the seeds from one area of the earth to another area of the world, earth and it was mainly decided mainly created so that the seeds and plant life can travel with those animals to another area of of the planet so it was it was specially designed to like uh, uh, to like spread out the seeds like the overall continent must be uh, must be inhabited by these artificially created uh, plant life it has to be spread out it has to grow everywhere to stabilize the continent to stabilize the planet earth for its inhabitants future inhabitants so it was a huge cycle and they said that uh, when the earth reached uh, the next cycle it was ready for inhabiting because it was a stable cycle and when i under understand uh, when i remember pleiadians also were talking that the earth is really valuable because it has went through a long long period of these cycles what were these cycles uh, then I remember another information which was when these godlike beings also from the Mars, Mars was a green planet also, and this Phaeton planet which uh, erupted and exploded uh, somewhere uh, in the next scenario, these beings also came uh, to live on Earth from the Phaeton and from the Mars. And they decided that this is a nice place, although it's a dangerous place because of the environment, changing environment, but it's a really nice place and it must be uh, created and it must be um uh, taken care of for its uh, uh future evolution because future evolution because what i understood the planet has to be taken care of because it can also the climate can destroy itself not like destroy itself but went through a destruction and then another hundred thousand years or so to like r r r get it back as it was uh, earlier uh, so it has to be taken care of it's not like it could be destroyed but uh, not like destroyed as complete destruction but it could be went through uh, uh, like for example if you don't take care of your garden what you have then after several years it will be just grown out and completely no use of it so you have to be taken care of so the climate doesn't uh, change everything dramatically uh, from from what it was uh, to make the Earth's evolution, to evolution to inhabitable and a stable and advanced uh, climate uh, from the future, something as we have right now. So, talking next, there was this story that also these, but it was, it was a little bit later. These godlike beings came here and were living here, and they came to a point. There was, there were last, they happened. Huge fires started to happen in some continent of the planet and they were now having a discussion and this were their opinions started to change in the society what was living there there were not many beings living there there were only mainly cosmical beings and the, the, the division started to happen in those plans which they had one group said that this is the evolution of the earth and it should go in the direction wherever the earth is going although maybe half of the planet is burned down and the other was saying, no, we have to do something about this. We have to create polarity of the Earth. Because what I understood, the sun was so strong in one period of the continent and it created deserts because everything burned out, just complete deserts there. And uh, 
prior to this there were no deserts there were only green and water lands no deserts no rivers also uh, uh, really really small rivers that just went down from the mountains from the single mountain what was there which I saw so and decided they decided that we need to create a polarity to the planet and to have these all three environments ice greenlands and deserts and they they started to figure out and they, this was the the diversity started to happen because one group was okay it's earth's evolution it has to go its evolution period and one said no uh, we have to assist the earth and create a polarity and afterwards they created polarity and what they understood the polarity created also after effects uh, side effects you may say what understood they created a polarity for example this this microphone right here is the the, the earth earth spins something like this for example and the polarity was created here 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 and here and what happens if you have this when you spin or when you spin and it spins 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 and does something like this you know and at one point it falls down uh, i don't know how it's called in english i, I don't remember uh, but it, or maybe i have never known i don't know uh, and the earth does like this it spins spins but previously it wanted to spin crazy like but it when it spins spins it it shakes a little bit it, it wants to fall to a side but the energy field kicks it back and it creates a small polarity shift like this and a vibration and because of this the uh, earth uh, earthquakes start to happen it tries to balance out an earthquake earthquake starts to happen it tries to balance out an earthquake starts to happen because these polarities fix in it in a certain axis this this earth it, it, and they created this polarity uh, with pyramids with the giza pyramids they many times said this polarity was created with the giza pyramids and it's much older because they had say at the beginning when they when they were built the pyramids were in green grasslands and after those polarity shifts they shift the poles in a way that those burned out deserts which were burned out remain in the equatory area and those green grasslands remember to save the environment they decided to shift the polarity to the this period uh, to the, to, the uh, uh, to that angle you would say and this when uh, several beings went away from the planet because it was uh, they they put it into an artificial environment they started to put it in and many beings were for the uh, evolution process to go on so this they created uh, as an artificial uh, uh, they started to creating it artificially like interrupting the earth's uh, overall uh, earth's overall uh, evolution so what happened next was then at that point many beings decided yeah but we will we want to live there and carry out the evolution of the earth and then these atlantean small beings uh, nordic type of the beings came from mars first of all they went back to the mars then they came from mars back to there small smaller beings uh, ears like this eyes sharper like this cheeks sharper like also like this and they 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 came here to live in this environment although i know that there's much more detailed information in that camera in latvian language but still i just go through the overall and they they started to live here they started to live here uh and uh, I, I remember that there was another pole shift which which they created or maybe this was the pole shift created because when they came to a cross that they need to have this polar shift uh many many uh, things uh, on cities drowned because of the polar shift that they created uh, so what i what i remember is because of that polar shift the atlantean city which they have created the ancient city just drowned just drowned below the water and uh, the, the next uh, the next continents arise from the water so anyway the atlanteans I, I i need to check the camera for this the atlanteans which came down to this uh, to this earth they accepted that those beings were like yeah we accept the evolution we accept what will ever go on at will will go on we accept it as a, a part of continue up evolution of theirs so we we accept to be here but these first beings that these godlike beings that came here they went away because they thought it's 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 like a little messed up everything is a little messed up they went away from this planet and uh, they started having this conflict on their own planet which was the fight which was the phyton planet the fifth planet in our solar system which has only meteorite belt left over uh, they starting to have this conflict uh, like diversion of the society and they started they 
they were having also another conflict with another dimension or another universe what was out there and because of these conflicts that were arising they decided that we need to leave the solar system they went away from this solar system they left this solar system but many beings also on mars and also on planet earth uh, stayed they stayed and when these big but when these other dimension beings uh, blew up the the Phaeton, the planet Phaeton, there were so many crazy things started to happen on Mars, which I talked about in previous video, which I will not share it right now just to save time on the phone battery. But what happened afterwards? The planet Earth was not inhabited anymore, uh, many things drowned, there were uh, <laughs> many continents were burned out, and then uh, came these, uh, mm, how was it called? They said that they then came the many, many, many uh, invasion races. Like uh, Mars was destroyed by this invasion insect type of uh, race, but on, uh, on planet Earth there was a different scenario. Uh, these ge genetical uh, races came that uh, are here to take genetics and. But it was a little bit later, before that, after the explosion, the planet was left and there were many, many still beings living here, many different beings, like they said some kind of, something like a yeti, something like a beers, and something like a, a furry coated, uh, something like monkeys, what I understood. And, and also birds and also something like mammoths and dinosaurs. Uh, but then, uh, but then came these uh, because when the Phaeton exploded, this was a free solar system. These three uh, no, leftover planets to, uh, were uh, left uh, in, uh, without anybody to control them, without anybody having them. Because these beings, these superhumans, these godlike humans left the solar system and went back to their own uh, planetary system. And what happened here on Earth? There were so many in, in immigrant races that came here and they were from one to different to different to different to different. There were so many different, different, different. And then Rico said, whenever there are two different or several different races, they sooner or later start to war with each other because they have different perspectives, they have different genetics and so on. They sooner or later start to war with each other. And that's what started to happen that this uh, overall territory was used as a war zone uh, between many, many races. Like there, they said there were thousands of races. And uh, what I remember from the ancient like pyramid uh, drawings, which I have seen somewhere, uh, what I recall is that they have bird-like beings, they have like uh, crazy like beings like looking like beings like uh, several crazy like beings living there and what I understood that that was the point not really long ago like 30,000 50,000 maybe 100,000 300,000 years not not so long ago they were living like many 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 beings and they were warring with each other sooner or later they started the war with each other and just to protect this and at the beginning they they it was a genetical uh, experiment between those many races because there were another race that came here was understood i am not sure because i never read any books about it but they repeated because they have heard any uh, prior in channeling somebody was talking about anunnaki and they were talking about this anunnaki they came here as a genetical farmers you may say as a genetical uh, experiments that took these genetical leftovers that were here on this planet and then rico talked about one huge benefit that they got from this planet because i understood this is the benefit of these uh, genetical far farming races. Um, they, Enrico showed me that when they came, uh, they were free on this planet. They took so many genetics and they benefited from them. Um, they started to take these empty, like biological, uh, biological robot beings that were used for inhabiting other planets, uh, remotely controlled. And they said the biggest benefit what they found on these smart quantum technological plant lives and genetical lives that are here, they were created with this, I don't know what this cell is, I have never seen it before. It looks like this, it looks like this. And it has a, like a, a core inside, imagine like this, and a core inside, and a, one antenna, one antenna. This is a cell. They found these e immigrant races found this cell uh, uh, on on plant lives, 
and they discovered that it's a highly advanced computer technology. It's a highly advanced cell-to-cell -cell communication technology. And what they said, they realized this, that it's a self controlling mechanism because what I said these because what I said at the beginning these controlled uh, plant lives are, and they, they were this created controlled plant lives and what they discovered was that you can use it as consciousness or semi-consciousness beings or remotely programmed consciousness beings you can use this cell and we consist uh, a lot of with these cells and these plant lives also have like a lot of these cells inside and this the small the, the thing the the cell it communicates with other cells in the biological control mechanism and Enrico said it well basically it fulfills the function as imagine a mother is looking outside of the window she says okay I have three kids outside the window playing and then after a moment she looks again okay I have three kids outside of playing and at, at one moment she looks okay now I see only two kids one has gone somewhere and these small cells then instantly communicate with other cells in this or in our organism or in plant like organism and they create some kind of a, a program or a recovery state where did the kid go for example it controls that our cells spread grow and grow grow con controlledly and they check whether it's growing correctly and digest and di adjust 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 to this growing program which is built in in this small cell and what these anunnaki th creatures what they did they started to creating biological robots because they understood that this cell is can be like a uh, like a, uh, a like a quantum processor that can controls and can be programmed like a, like a remote server so a biological beings can be empty without a soul and can still consciously uh, grow uh, and be on other planets like uh, with soulless beings you would say but controlled and they also said they can be used as uh, with beings who have soul and they are controlled uh, with these like uh, small computers uh, these these beings so and it was a huge benefit for their civilization these Anunnaki which many other civilizations started to war against uh, or for these technologies that can be found on this earth also these godlike beings that created everything here like oranges and apples and so on and so on it's a, it's a controlled uh, com multi-controlled uh, mechanism uh, like a like a computer controlled mechanism uh, that allows to use the environment to create such a highly advanced uh, thing as a fruit for example we exit all just the fruit and so on and that, that's when they started to create these genetics and experimenting on the genetics created many many races here on earth and after a while they started war and these godlike beings that lived here they could not come here anymore but they went to another super race somewhere I don't know where but they came here with the moon orbital station and this moon orbital station created this earth as a neutral zone they allowed these Anunnaki type of a genetic farmers that were there to be on this moon to and they had only this one wish continue the earth's evolution allow to earth and evolution to freely and continuously uh, expand its own evolution and then uh, these overall things was just wiped out what was here it was it was taken away and then this moon zone this moon neutral zone created this neutral uh, cosmical zone for this environment of planet earth because mars was destroyed phaeton was destroyed we cannot allow this highly advanced technological place this earth to be destroyed anymore we need to continue its evolution we need to look for its evolution to carry up its evolution uh, and, and look after this evolution a will from the godlike beings to those anunnaki beings or so but it was a how you call it the co compromise because the anunnaki wanted their own uh, agenda but they still decided that yes okay we have the benefits or the priority to be uh, carrying out this evolution and what they created they created then they needed to create a single being living on this planet and they created the first homo sapien and this was the funniest part by then uh, for me and the first homo sapien was a brown skin and it was a mixed genetics with the anunnaki genetics first homo sapien the first chassis model and as Enrico said, well, in your, in your terminologically, they were extremely dumb. Pri primate, pri 
prim primate, you say it in a prim something in Latvian like primate, but in English, in simple words, it would be just dumb, really dumb. And they could not carry care about their uh, own survival. They were uh, highly dumb. Th they were created and really quickly they realized that this being, this Homo sapien, the first, could not overall survive because they were so dumb enough. Uh, and then they created this second Homo sapien. Really afterwards, they created this second Homo sapien uh, uh, chassis, you would say. And this chassis was created with ability uh, to have logic. Uh, and what happened there was then, was as Enrico described, for example, the fruit grows on a tree, like a coconut something. And this logic ex ex was explained in, in this way that, hey, two, two homo sapiens come together, uh, hold yourself to the, to the tree, I will step on you, I will pick down the, I will pick down the fruit and then we can eat. And it was, it was okay, it, it was working, but again, soon they realized that this Homo sapiens species doesn't have the thinking of cause and effect, uh, as they said, but in simple words, to, for us to more easily to understand, uh, they didn't have the ability to control how much they eat and when they eat. They started to eat, and after a while, they forget that they need to eat or drink. Uh, these primates, these, these dumb beings, these, uh, they didn't have the controlling mechanism that you feel bad, 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 and you soon, so, slow, slowly die out, that you don't have the remembrance of what you should do to recall back to the eating state. And the third Homo sapien was with the ability of cause and effect, and it was a huge benefit of the illusion. At one part, they realized, as Enrico was saying, that Anoki no, okay, realized that these beings now have the capability to survive from time to time to time. Because when they ate, they remembered that it was something beneficial. And then these genetics started to create a taste in his mouth and, and feeling in his stomach, I want to eat again. And prior to that, it, well, they didn't have this ability. And they didn't remember that they need to eat again. And from a time, also this cause and effect created the ability to kill. They started killing animals and started killing each other because they remembered when you kill somebody by accident you can eat it and then you feel beneficial and then you started to kill again and and it created uh, sooner or later it created wars and wars and wars over this planet and which of them they realized well this is a part of evolution but on the other hand they were thinking that they will just start to kill each other and they were like in a in, in out of balance what should we do and what should we do but it lasted for a long 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 period of time this war type of a in, uh, this war type of a um, how you call it uh, instincts the cause and effect as as the Nico said and uh, so then they created to create a fourth homo sapien and this was the most interesting part for me they realized that for the first Homo sapien to carry out this evolution without destroying each other, they created uh, the third eye. And uh, uh, what now I don't quite surely understand because I have a correction which I want to ask, uh, ask in the channeling. Ah, another. Th okay, battery is getting low. Okay, how much battery I have? 50 minutes okay so maybe this will be a live stream but definitely the camera on which i'm recording right now doesn't tell me the battery is low so if this fails and i did not finish to tell everything then i will d delay this video and then post the large video uh, from the large camera uh, so what happened uh, at, at one point also about this cell this with a small antenna and, and the core inside uh, this cell, as they said, is able to communicate with everything around. It communicates with the same cell as in North Pole. It can communicate with the same cell in your refrigerator. And the same cell can communicate with you and with the same cell in, for example, on Mars. And they said that this was a highly advanced technology. And they said, and Rico started telling, for example, you, if you are sitting next to a tree, the tree communicates with your body. And it's really important because the tree information is specially created to 
make your cells remember cells remember uh, what is your uh, cell purpose what it's what who are your cells because from time to time they, they forgot about the cells forget about their own programming they adjust to the uh, they adjust to the new situation whatever the human is living in and it needs a plant every being you and me and everybody were understood you need a plant in your house in every room you need a plant with a leaf leaf because it communicates with yourself subconsciously and the cells from the plant energy remember who they are the cells in your body remember who they are and put your cells back to the uh, how you call it the uh, to the working to the to the to the to the state when they realize they hey we need to work differently we are different being we need to work differently and they remember, oh yeah, I forgot who we are. And they start to adjust back to the system. And the plant lives are really important because they said from these cells, they communicate all over. And they said, a tree in America communicates with a tree in Japan, for example. And this is a highly advanced technology for them. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so about the fifth race of Homo sapiens, uh, they created this third eye. Well, this third eye is a third eye is a energetical root rooting in your physical body. And these Anunnaki also created this with this third eye. They created in the human's genetics this acupuncture uh, nerve channel system. What they said, they can easily reprogram these cells in the human holding fingers to the certain acupuncture points and what i saw with this anunnaki they have head like this on the back and cheeks lower down like and they look little lizard and they said also enrico said you have the same genetics it's simply to this it's simply to tell because when you look from a side your spine goes like this your these are the feet and spine goes like like s and this is the hips another s and the head goes to the front. They said so lizardy. Another thing that can tell is you can put your hand like this in front, like this. It's, it, this is so lizardy to them, and also the tailbone and so on. They said this is so mixed together. We have nearly maybe 30 to 50 percent genetics of us came from come from the Anunnaki, and it's so changed over, over, over all to the time. The first Homo sapiens were down dark red like brown like skins and we have now much clearer skins okay battery is getting really low so okay so i will finish this live stream i will continue on the big camera thank you for watching because i need to terminate the live stream because it saves the video online so talking about continuing talk uh these uh, these uh fifth they had this third eye and they created this third eye, I stand, what I understood energetically, it starts, how can also they program, they put these fingers on the acupuncture and they concentrate their energy on those cells which were uh, in the root chakra as we, as we call it. They concentrate their intention down on the root chakra and they can pro reprogram the human genetics only by these fingers and their energy because they, uh, they communicate with these acupuncture, these nerve systems these etheri etherical systems to those uh, to those points and they can reprogram the genetics of the human only by this maybe they can reprogram the the ge genetical behavior or maybe they can reprogram the genetics itself i didn't quite that but easily they can do a lot with only these things and uh, what happened later uh, what happened later was this this third eye was created this uh, this connection with the source as they said because they decided that hey we are just killing we are animals killing each other down here on earth they decided that we need these beings to have a a cosmical awareness like uh, the god's awareness or the overall uh, balance of of the of the source you would say of the light energy so that's why they created this third eye for these humans to have like a remembrance that like a, a heart feeling that hey this is not how it's supposed to be this is not how it's supposed to happen and this third eye for the fourth or the fifth homo sapien i don't remember the number right now uh, was created 
for the purpose to reduce the wars for the humans to have this overall um, feeling that there has to be a cosmical harmony on this planet there has to be a cosmic har harmony between us at first they allow them to war war watching how the evolution carry and at one and then at one point they said no they have to have this cosmical um um, cosmical balance uh, harmony in them in their feelings a the heart feelings so then they create this third eye uh, or maybe they just activated the third eye but what I understood it's a highly created what I understood from the channeling it's a highly smart and created the, the third eye starts from the um, if this is your feet these are your feet fingers from here from the okay this camera is charging out also but remember this camera can go until it shuts down and everything will be recorded. Now I have a spare battery. That's what I will do. I will stop and I'll put in the spare battery. Just wait for a second. So, with the spare battery I can talk for two hours at least right now. This is a really good camera. I like it. And, uh, and stable and working all the time. So, they created this third eye. When I see the third eye starts from the feet to the hips and to open a blast open your third eye or connection to the source you need to uh, like a kundalini movement you need to push that energy up to the top of your head and it can create you the connection back to the source to the higher density you would say and these anunnaki realize that we can cannot go on with these primates or these dumb 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 beings right here that kill each other that they need for the overall evolution purpose they need to have this uh, cosmical connection back to the source or the the heartful and the cosmical harmony law and that that's why they need this connection to the source or to the god or whatever you said and then enrico said and this is the period when many spiritual beings started to come because when the third eye is was being infiltrated many spiritual souls started to come this was the green light for the high, highly or experienced souls to code come down here and uh, for other words there are so many beings or souls that have lived out so many lifetimes and they will not come to the place of complete uh, forgetness they will only if they wish to come here to a place of complete forgetness they will only want to come here with a connection back to the source a connection back to their like god's place or a connection back to their higher density and these anunnaki knew that if we create this there will be two uh, one benefit and one side effect side effect will be that sooner or later these beings on earth will turn into light to a higher density and on the other hand it has to happen because sooner or later if we don't make the changes they will just destroy each other the same as as mars they were warring and warring constantly so that's why they decided okay let's make the third eye as a highly advanced uh, connection spiritually connection to the spiritual connection the, to the spiritual connection and what the thing is, if what I understood, if a Buddha or a Christ was walking this earth and he receives the light from higher density, because of that cell with the small antenna, everybody in microscopical doses receives that light also here on earth. It's like a, one cell communicates, hey, we sense a high light somewhere on this earth, and every cell every cell okay no really we sense and the readjustment started to happen overall and then rico said in year 2700 you will finally move to a higher density uh what you call it from the fourth to fifth or would they, they said in a little point no matter what somebody says to the next density will you be totally and completely uh, aware of the source existence you'll be completely and totally aware of the higher self of the higher densities you will be completely aware these humans will be completely aware of that and this will be the huge allowance to go uh, to the next density overall this planet will be shifted to the next density and uh, so yeah so at that point uh, he was talking about and this is the time when you started to happen uh, started to talk about this buddha this christ and so on these were the one of the first uh, uh it's not like in year of zero or before before century uh, before christ uh, it it wasn't that that earlier to them that didn't existed but they started to come up in those years much much more these these connected spiritual 
beings because they had this third eye implantation and activated this third eye for something they had it they created this homo sapien with the third eye ability i don't know what happened later uh, uh, we didn't channel about what happened later i tried to i tried to remember what was next from that story but uh, on continue up what i remember uh, maybe that was it i don't know i talk it like an hour now but it was two hours so i just shared a half of this information what was there but there was lots of more information available for those Anunnaki's information about them and there was lots of information still about the moon orbital station that was available uh, what is there well, I think it, it's e easy to channel that again and we started to channel something about Mars and Jupiter oh there was a funny beings on Mars uh, the, 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 we were talking they were at first they were channeling about Mars and they started to, started to talk about ah oh, Mars climate about water on Mars they said that Mars climate and and, and I'll, I'll, let's just shift to the Mars now then for a, for a little while and they were talking about the Mars and Mars uh, the water on Mars and they said that Mars is a completely different planet uh, from the surface uh, it's, it, it was not a planet where there were rivers and lakes it was not a planet full of uh, yeah rivers and lakes as I said and uh, it was not also fully inhabited with plant lives. There were what well, understood waters in our planet go on the surface like a lake. It's on the surface of the soil. The Mars environment was opposite. It was below the soil. And every plant that was there, it it had a deep, deep, deep roots so it can pick up the uh, the wet and it was like not like a water it was like a thick water there to pick up the wet and then uh, put it into atmosphere and there were some parts as holes inside the the like a like a well uh, in the a small well at, like diameter of this where you can take out this water you can take out this water and there were also as they said places where the inner uh, inner and they said that mars inner surface is not hot like we have here you can go deep 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 and it doesn't get hotter like we have right here and there were in the deeper surfaces there were these waters you can find these waters and at some point they become uh, became over the surface and then uh, get sucked in back into the surface like the soil was irritated and it, the thick waters uh, slowly sucked into the surface and that was the cycle of the the Mars surface that s at some point the water goes up and at some point it goes down but it, they said it they weren't like long rivers they weren't like long rivers and because of these fight against the insect beings that invaded this uh, planet mars uh, the jupiter colony or jupiter uh, orbital station that came here they decided that we we, mu we must fight against those insects and they created this artificial environment or this explosion or this chemistry what they said that they destroy the atmosphere in a sense and because of these uh, oxides that were coming they destroyed also the wet uh, from the surface of the planet completely and the wet turned into a calcified a thick uh, layer of uh, like a rock you would say like a imagine like a like a huge uh, salt basket of salt but a little bit uh, which you can hardly you can squeeze it a little bit and this was the water that was left over uh, like like a like something like a like a soft rock a white soft rock like a calcified rock or you know, something like ice but uh, a dry ice for example and uh, but these technological uh, beings that now live uh, like a Mar mars is divided into two hemispheres left and right and one is the immigrants and one is the ancient beings that live there and they war with each other they're like in a conflict and these uh, humble beings that live there like us human races species like left flowers from the atlanteans that live there uh, uh they are uh, not even going they're afraid to go even to the zone of the other hemisphere because they know they will be kicked out from the zone or maybe shut down or something like this i don't know uh, but they're afraid to go there or even get closer to that point and they said also that technology is really suitable uh, for to extract water from these from this rock type of a salt like of a calcified type of the water they said you can 
compress it uh, to a certain level, like a physically compress it, and just boil, uh, just heat it up, and there will be like they said, condensate water start to come out. Condensate water start to come out, and uh, and this this is the part how you can create. And they said 500, 700, 800, 900 degrees you can get this water to come out poorly like the, the comp, com, uh, com, compressurizing and extracting uh, steam like of water that comes out and you can just condense it down but this is the way how you can uh, get water on it but the one person in the room asked whether or if the beings can create the environment there as like a green environment and Enrico said it so gently they are human, they are surviving for their own existence, for survival, for centuries and centuries and centuries. They don't have the ability to create something, they only are uh, trying to survive, to survive, to survive. That's all they are doing. But these tech, they, without a support of highly advanced technology, they cannot, uh, they cannot recover back their planet earth they're fighting for the leftovers of food whatever they have and uh, so our brothers and sisters on mars are suffering a lot so i, I think the overall evolution of us going to the mars is an overall evolution of getting and helping them on mars so i remember one one time i remembered so highly right now and it was an interesting experience. When I was 10 years ago, when I didn't channel, I had a lot, lots of meditation, I had lots of dreams, and now I understand that information. A Martian came to me, a, a, a highly lucid dream state, and he started to drawing me pictures how they travel in time and space. And it was a so real dream, I was amazed. I would film him, picture him, and so on, and I draw a picture of what he drew to me, when I asked him a question, how do you travel in time and space? He started to draw tunnels, but that, that picture was highly wow. And what he drew then was... Uh, what he drew then was... And what I asked him then was... Take me with you. And he said, no. So why not? The beings on planet Mars will be so afraid of you. I was, like, I was like, oh, I could be afraid of them. And then the Martian left and with the spaceship and went away. Although in the channel I didn't see any technology to them. But I do what was true that they are highly afraid from, from humans because they are like uh, they're like cavemen to us comparison right now. And uh, whatever we will come here with a mobile phone or something, they will be afraid because we are here to kill them. So it's a completely different zone because the humans that are on the planet, they are on the right hemisphere, the, te the immigrant hemisphere, which there are several other races on there, and white small aliens also, and those the the Jupiter beings. And uh, then they're talking about one funny, then they started to talk about one funny immigrant also, it's there. Um, a size maybe to our knees, that long, dark green, ears like this and they are constantly enjoying they are constantly enjoying like how I call it a complete chuvax constantly enjoying partying and they said well Nico said you have to have these beings also because they're so funny to have they don't have this consciousness of why something is doing right or what, is something wrong is something correct they don't have this consciousness they are just enjoying their time and they said he said Enrico said they are these beings that just love to look at your pants and love to follow you wherever you are going and out interrupting you and just like having a chat while you are doing something and just playing around they are simple beings but also highly exciting beings and said Enrico said that uh, in some cases these beings also came to this planet here which we are or were taken here to this planet and they went to the city or somewhere they went but they were not like city but they went outside where they should not supposed to be and they were quickly taken away because nobody should see these beings because they are so alien type of these beings but they are highly funny they are highly funny
I remember I have saw saw something similar in the movie Man in Black, and but, but I remember Man in Black they were like gray like, but these uh, beings uh, were green like, dark green like, and. Um, and they were really funny. I remember now, now I remember another picture in the avatar, but they were in avatar where they're hanging in trees with four arms, but they were with two arms and they're like party, 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 party. Hey. So after this channeling, which we had, and I thought, man, that was crazy. But it was so long talk. It was like two hours of nonstop talking. To myself after that I was in a complete no thought state I even went to sleep that night without any thoughts I mean you have and you, when you have no thoughts you just shut down and you just are in a blissful state you just smile and sleep you're just a blissful state and it's highly unusual because uh, because uh, when you talk like like I'm now talking a lot I have so many thoughts going on right now. I will finish this talk. I will have so many thoughts that I need to do. I must do and so on. But after that state, no thought at all. And it's highly un unusual. And then I then I un understood that these Enrico, these channeling th stuff, they shut down the the mind activity for myself. For the easiest easiest way for this to be describable was imagine you look at a beautiful artwork like. Um, pick a source, something, whatever, that uh, in other times will inspire you highly. And you just look at it and you have no interpretation what's going on. Is it good? Is it bad? You have no interpretation. You just see a wall and that's it. Just like like this, like a, like a, like an onion for a while. And after this channeling, this happened many times, but after this channeling, it happened uh, quite intensely. And only now I'm like getting back to it a little bit from it. And another thing which I forgot to tell to that friend that was asking these channeling questions, I said, I forgot to tell you at the beginning, uh, before we started the channel, I said to him, have you ever tried to channel Enrico? He said, yes. And I said, that's what they said uh, to me. They said that you've been trying to channel Enrico, but in a sense you felt that you did not succeed. But Enrico wanted to tell you that they are completely aware of you that you tried this. The only thing what bothered you for this communication was that you are tightly thinking too much, tightly thinking too much. You are expecting too much or, or, or expecting something. Your, your brain activity is uh, too much in, in a sense. It must be easy. And when I said this to a friend, he said that, yes, I have tried that and at this moment when I said that he said oh man so much blissful feelings I feel right now and he said the tears started to come out when he heard that what I said about Enrico and uh, the same thing happened lately another time um, to one of other girls who is a channeler uh, learning to do channeling but she is learning like for three years or so and he's she's just watching uh, up to it and I said, I, when Enrico said, and I wanted to tell to you also, that you are ready to do and start channeling them. Uh, and she said, no problem. She took a camera and started to channel. Although when you channel Enrico, there's only laughter and laughter and laughter. But what she said also was that uh, she started to cry and laugh uh, about when she heard that message also and something it's something interesting that those beings also see us here and they choose okay this is ready for channeling she's ready for channeling and they're like uh, okay and when they are aware of the message they are aware of that this was true and then Enrico says hi and from that energy you start to just tears come out and you start to smile and laugh and this was easy. also another funny a funny moment for this was that at one day I feel also Enrico and I feel that girl. She lives in a different city. Uh, uh, we don't we don't we don't have these uh, conversations. Just uh, sometimes when she comes to a lesson, she's there, but all the time she's away. Uh, we, we're not, not like close friends to which we which we, which we can talk all uh, all day. Uh, or sometimes all day, uh, and I just felt her so strongly, and I just write to the to her that m 
or something I write to her, I, I don't remember. Oh no, after she did the first channeling, uh, after this message, she did the first channeling, and then I wa walked and I felt, and I write to her like a, a, a few words like, uh, keep up the good work and, and continue or something like this. But it was from the Enrico, the message. And she, at that point, was having the same message. And she said, man, that was emotional and highly funny again for her. And this is something interesting, like never, like, never before. I know that people also who watch these videos somewhere else or some channelers, they have been across to the energy of Rico, for example. But this is something really distinct from the previous experiences which I had. So this is another interesting experience uh, just lately that happened. So another thing, a man asked, the same man asked to Enrico, yes, but we want to know, uh, maybe he has read so many books or watched so many information, he wants to know what is truth uh, compared to the untruth, what's out there on the internet. And this is the information uh, which I wanted to share in the beginning. And this information was what Enrico instantly replied, there is no truth or untruth, there is not such a value. The only value that is there, which you can take a, a opinion on, is whether this information helps you to stabilize the truth that you have chosen to believe in, or whether this information is out of harmony on the truth you believe in. Because many of us have so many truths and it's the only pattern on which you can rely on. Does this information help you or not? This is the only choice. So, in other words, there is no truth. All of them is truth. And this was the information which I wanted to share in the beginning for my comparison. You know, I have never read any books about the Earth history. I have heard that there are some kind of Atlanteans and uh, I have seen Giza pyramids and pictures and so on. I have no idea what was the Earth history. Completely no idea. Zero. And at this point, I know that there are so many books and so many other information out there that may be conflicting with the information I just shared. But I cannot do anything about it. This was the information that was being channeled. I have no clue what this information is. I have no awareness where did this information came from other than the being calling Enrico, where did he get this information? I'm not sure. And uh, secondly, if I look to it from my perspective, this is the only information I have, and knowing that how many people love to rewrite the books down and rewrite their own interpretations of the scenarios or beliefs that they have had, I would say trusting a channeled information, how I see it and how I feel it, for me is much safer, for me is much um, respected, for, I don't know, much respected for me than reading some kind of a book in uh, history, in children's school, where they said that the 9-11 September was a terrorist attack, for, exa for example. That to me the channeling, channeled information is more uh, genuine as you may say and i sometimes doubt myself and then sometimes I think yeah but but i said no it's not possible because when for example for example when i start a channel i'm being kicked out i'm kicked away my body is taken over and i cannot for example talk two hours non-stop in a monatomic level that doesn't change ups and downs talk without these, uh, uh, it's not possible for me. It's not even possible for me. There was a children in the channel, when I channeled. When I started the channel, the children started to laugh and the channel eyes are closed and just the being started to watch the children where he's running. I have no clue where the children is. You know, there's so many things that put out to me, okay, this is a being that is trying to present the information. It's coming through my own verbal interpretation. And right now I'm interpreting an interpretation that came to the channel. So that's why also the interpretation may be a little bit out of 
uh, the exact information that was represented because you need to watch the channeling and the channeling is Latvian so you cannot watch the channeling so it's my interpretation from from the channeled information to the information which I remember and to the language that you remember and overall I do not remember all of that information so it's a uh, overall information uh, so yeah that that was nice that, the, but overall information was nice it put out to me the basic step by step what happened here on earth but on this planetary system and it helps me to to understand who we are and why are we here and uh, and uh, it, it for me it helps it helps me to like okay I know who I am I know why I'm here and I know what I'm doing and it, it just helps me and this information and I know that there will be more and more information about other planets other situations it will get down to the point who we are and why are we here and then it will get to the next information I don't know which yet but I think the next information what we could channel but I sense the information is there about the Nanunaki Nanunaki and about the moon orbital station what I sense from the Jupiter is that uh, it's not yet information that you need to touch upon let's finish the earlier informations uh, what we have here and put them uh, point to point uh, like uh, correctly let's write it down correctly what the history we have right here right now and I believe these two channels which I talked about these other two persons will start bringing information through also information through also uh, as additional to this because what I felt from Enrico that they the time is right now for starting sharing and sharing and sharing but the overall problem is that my resources here are not capable to share so many information as I talked and joking with a friend also I said yeah but if somebody would pay me for the things for the channeling only if it would be an income for me I could channel all days just it, it's it's something that I need to work I need to program I need to do stuff also to r get my income but if if there is an income only from the channeling I would be more than happy to just channel and channel and not think about anything else so other in other words it's necessary to have other channelers who channel continue to channel this information but on the other hand I would also love to channel more uh, now I need to find my free time to channel so uh, that's what I'm thinking and that's what I thought well maybe it's necessary to ask for a donation to reduce my working time I don't know but if you if this information help you can create this donation but uh, then I thought well, the common things the common things uh, for me I start, started to consulting people about them you know, like a like something like a psyche reading and then after a few few times or several or like a, I had a hundred or thirty people or something it doesn't matter I had many people not like many like millions but I had a group of people where I decided no this is definitely not for me I'm, I don't want to talk about why don't I have money I don't want to talk about relationships I don't want to even spend my time on talking to people who have these silly problems uh, or not like silly problems but they have this point uh, thought thinkings about this relationship I want to go to travel uh, uh, why does this and the, the overall the same and the same questions arrive the same and the same it's like no this is not for me completely then start learning teach others to channel yeah this is what I like but most definitely channeling information this is what I like the most and I thought yeah I could from I could channel all the time but yeah so need to work also so anyway as I always said if this information or the channeling was helpful to you uh, it's uh, appreciated for sharing this energy f from your side to to this side also another thing if you have any questions you just visit the website out of peace and just uh, switch the UK flag and you will have the English forum and just write questions 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 it creates a highly not, not like highly it creates the oh somebody is interested in this okay it's in my curiosity also and I want to channel that information also right now so so this is what I want to say so anyway thank you for listening I, I hope I didn't take too much of your time I hope this information was valuable to you and I don't know it was really interesting I don't know about you but I will stop recording right now and see you next time bye <laughs>